guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jay Will. So I revisited a lot of phones and I decided to revisit the second gen Moto G again. The first experience I had with the Moto G, uh, the, the second gen was pretty good overall. And um, I had not too many complaints about it. The only issue I think I had was the speaker volume with the, with the phone, the front two speakers. And I don't know that it'll be any different with this one, um, but um, in most reviews they kind of say the same thing that I said that the speaker volume is not the loudest but um, still I decided to get a white one the reason I got this white one is because I actually got rid of rid of my black one because I just wasn't using it and so I just sold it uh, I sold it so but here we are um, months later and this is actually on sale on Amazon they had it on their on their website for sale so um, I jumped on board and, and picked one up and uh, snatch it for 149 so if you didn't know it was on sale a couple days ago for 149 and you could actually get it shipped for that price you know plus your taxes and if you have a prime account you can get it for two-day service um, really easy free shipping and I got this here I here we are two days later it's a guaranteed two days with prime so uh, just to run down the specs again on this one it has a five inch display 149 grams feels really nice it's a uh, pixel density of 249. That's more than enough for a five inch display, 720 display. So it, it looks pretty good. i um, go back and check out my videos on the black one if you haven't. It has corn and grill glass three. It's water resistant. And uh, I've seen people pour water all over it. And you know, it, they're pretty crazy for doing that, but I won't test it like that. But I've seen people do it and the phone still functions. Got eight gigs of memory on board. You'll probably get about five of that available. One gig of RAM. It says it can hold a 32 gig card, but I've actually put a 64 in here and it does work. It is um, 4G HSPA plus, no LTE on board, but that helps with battery life. Eight megapixel on the back, the LED flash. This basically looks like um, the Moto X. You can change these back colors to different colors. I'll probably get uh, some different shells. I don't know, because the white actually looks a little bit better than the black. You can't see all the smudges with the white body on this one. Front uh, camera is a two megapixel and it's got these dual front firing speakers right here. It's a quad core uh, 2.1.2 uh, gigahertz uh, Cortex A7. So it's a 400 uh, Snapdragon 400. It does get lollipopped, so that's a good thing. And you can't ask for a better experience uh, for um, lollipop on these affordable phones. I think Motorola is doing it the best. So as you can see, they, are, they have the specs listed right here for it as well. 2070 milliamp battery it was pretty good last time, but um, let's peel this off and I'll put a SIM card in here and I will fire it up here. Let me show you the internals. Let's see here. So the battery is uh, actually sealed in, and it, they do make a dual SIM version of this. So the other SIM would be over here if this is a dual SIM, and the SD card uh, goes up there and the SIM card goes here. So let me pop my SIM in here it is the little clicky kind as you can see I have this adapter on here so that's why it's kind of tough but I don't want to change all my SIM cards are nano SIMs because I switch I have phones that are nano SIMs so that's about where we at so let's get a boot up and um, we'll check the first boot and we're in as you can see my uh, have a pin on here and my calls are actually forwarded to another phone so that's that's accurate so um, pretty much stock that that's it there's nothing going on here with the device so I get this set up and uh, I'll come back and we'll do a quick run through some more all right back at it again pretty much got it set up got it um, paired with the um, Moto 360 and uh, I'm gonna give this another run because uh, this is actually a pretty this is if you're looking to get into the smartphone game I think Motorola is giving the most options you've got the Nexus 6 you got the Moto X 2014 You've got uh, two Moto G's, the old and this is the new. Oh, you got the Moto X uh, 2013 as well. And then you got the Moto E. 
they have so many options that you can actually take advantage of in all different price ranges. And I think for shop, a, a person that's looking for a good buy kind of in the middle, um, this is definitely one that I would uh, recommend because it's uh, got a five inch display. It's a HD display. You can customize this one, not like the Moto X 2014 or the Moto X 2013, but you can do the shelves. Mo the Moto X 2014, I, I should say, you can customize that one completely. You can go into Moto Maker and build it how you want. But this one, you can at least do shelves on here. And this is a 5-inch display, and it is very, very nice. I mean, um, it doesn't uh, feel cheap at all in the hand. It's got a matte feel to the back. And I had the black one originally, if you remember. And um, let me adjust the camera real quick here. I had the black one originally and my experience with the black one it was good overall I mean I just the speaker's quality wasn't the best and I but I, I didn't really give it a chance I guess I'll say and um, after having uh, other Motorola products I figured you know what I gotta give this device a chance so um, once it went back on sale I decided like I said before I picked up this white one for 149 and I think that's a killer deal for what you're getting in this package 5 inch display HD display and the pixels is 240 294 pixels per inch but again from an end user's perspective a person walking into a store would see this and be like wow that has a beautiful display um, it does have um, the uh, LED notification up there it's a really bright white LED notification too and I'm gonna demo that for you real quick I'm gonna send myself a text message and uh, you'll see You'll see how nice it is. It's a very bright uh, LED that pops up on here. You can see how how bright it is. It's really nice. It has LED notification, and um, this should get uh, get lollipop. I don't know when. It's actually I think it's already out. Uh, but um, you can manually update. I checked it earlier and they, I kind of got that message. Hey, stop checking, you know, <laughs> uh, but uh, it is available. And um, when it is, I'll post a video for it showing the update uh, of it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited about it uh, to have it again. Uh, it's HSPA plus. Um, so the speeds were pretty good on T-Mobile. They weren't the fastest. Uh, but for regular web surfing, mild web surfing, in your day-to-day -day tasks, the, the, it'll be perfectly fine. Streaming was was good on here with with the HSPA Plus, and um, see, not there yet. Uh, but maybe I'll. I think it's a way to force it on there. But you know, it's not that serious with me. But um, the fact that this is uh, a really nice, affordable, and I got it for the 149. But still, even at 179, this is still a killer deal uh, for what you're getting. You get some pretty beefy specs that definitely competes with some other high-end devices that I have. Uh, the fact that it has dual front-facing speakers, that is a huge plus. Now they're, again, like I said in the full review, um, they're not um, Boom Sound, or they're not Nexus 6, or whatever, any other devices that have dual front-facing speakers, but the fact of the matter is they're there, and they're really clear. Power up a song, I think I had something playing. Oh. I think I have something planned. I'm doing some, it's still uploading, so I guess it's taking a second to get to the music. But um, nonetheless, um, the overall experience, that's about half volume. See, that's pretty decent. That's half volume. That is a, a really decent. Um, listening experience uh, you won't blow the socks off the entire room but again you're getting a fantastic set of speakers for the price um, the overall look of the white one like I was saying before I think the white one looks pretty doggone good and I wanted to get a, um, a royal blue back for it it's 15 bucks I wanted to get one of those and check that out and see how I like it uh, but just having this all it's white matte around here but the, the, the edges of this are are actually like a shiny material, a plastic looking material, it's glossy I should say, I'm sorry. And so, but you can't really tell though, but on the black one you can, you can see the difference right away in the, the different textures and stuff there. 
So I'm going to give this a, a chance, you know, um, this time. It's such an affordable price. Even before at 179 it was affordable a price. So you can, uh, shout out to Sam Unlocks. I was supposed to do an unlock video uh, um, with this device, but it turns out that they had this unlocked for 149 and it's actually 149 at, at uh, Consumer Cellular. So they can do the unlock for that. Um, it's the same device, it's just that it's black. And uh, when it powers on, I think it says consumer sale or something like that. But, you know, who cares about what it looks like when it powers on? It's still going to be the stock experience like this. No bloatware or anything like this. A couple of con uh, consumer cellular uh, applications on there. Uh, but nothing, um, nothing. I took a picture. I put a picture of the um, phone and I put it on the background. That's the great thing about the Moto 360. You can do what you want. Um, but um, it's still, if you buy the consumer cellular version, it's still 140, it's 149. So if you don't want to buy the unlocked version, and the unlocked code from Sam Unlocks is about $3 or something like that. So that is just a fantastic deal. And I think that uh, the experience with the Moto uh, G 2014 or Moto G second generation, this is a hell of a buy for the price. Can't, just can't go wrong. The, um, I actually installed the Google camera since Lollipop isn't there and I got the messaging app down there as well. That messaging app is just, I really like it. I like the new Gmail. I don't like the inbox. I have the new inbox on my, uh, on my iPhone because, um, the new inbox looks better, works better. I don't like to integrate certain things into iOS mail, uh, because in the iOS mail, it, it, you know, the syncing when you have after um, the Gmail, for some reason, it just doesn't, I don't like how it looks and I don't like it synced into there. So I like to keep my Gmail. I, I like to just have the iOS mail in here. And it's just me, but um, I don't know who else does that, but I keep those two separate. But I do like the inbox on here. Actually, I think the Gmail is is better than the, if you have the Gmail, the new Gmail, you don't need to put the inbox on here. That's kind of silly. But on this one, I chose to use the inbox because the iOS uh, version is the updated one and the Gmail version on iOS is not, uh oh, sorry guys, is not the updated version. So um, there you have it. This is just a quick walkthrough um, and update. We will revisit this um, in the time to come um, with uh, the Moto G. This was such an affordable deal. If you didn't see it, actually, I don't think I posted anything on YouTube about this. I'm sure I didn't, but I might've tweeted something about the deal. They had this for 24 hours only, $149. You can get the white or the black, and uh, it's a heck of a deal. Uh, this, this looks just like a, uh, a Moto X. If you have, they all look alike. This looks more along the lines, obviously, of the Moto X 2013 version, but uh, still, this is a good looking device. I probably will grab a blue skin, uh, a, blue, um, a blue back shell. I think that'll look really nice. Uh, having a Prime account, you can get everything. If you don't have an Amazon Prime account, wow, you should grab one because it's really nice. You can get everything in two days. I actually did order this two days ago, and it's already here. Uh, thus, I started doing some Christmas shopping. So everything's coming in in two days. I've got a package coming every day, believe it or not. Prime is a, a good thing to have on Amazon. I might start just convert completely to Prime. Um instead of using other sources to shop. So one more rundown of the specs on this thing, a 720 display, 720 by 1280, five inch display, a Corning Gorilla Glass 3, front facing camera is two megapixel and the back is eight megapixel. So I'm not gonna say it's a downer, but this only shoots 1080p and, uh, excuse me, 720. Both of them shoot 720 though. So why that's so, I have no clue, uh, but they both can do 720, so. 720 isn't bad, you know, some, most of our TVs are probably 720 or 1080p, so it should still be able to play uh, 1080p videos, I believe, just, you should be able to view them fine. But I'm going to put up a gaming video on this one. I know I've already reviewed this device, uh, but I've got some, I don't really do a lot of gaming, so I've got some graphic intense games like Robocop, and then there's also another game on iOS, I think it's like X-Men or something like that. I'll try to see if it's in this uh, um, app store, the Play Store and see if we can get that on here and see if we can get some good gaming on here. But there it is, folks. This is a updated video on the Moto G 2014. I picked up the white one. Hope you were able to get you one if you knew about it on Amazon for $149 shipped. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.